They recommended that Asasoryu retire in 2010. They elected to encourage Kisenosato in 2018. But until this Monday, never before had the Yokozuna Council taken the middle road and opted to give warnings to Hakuho and Kakuryu. Based on mounting Yokozuna absences over the past two years, that was the decision reached by the six aging members who attended, none of whom, I should add, have fought professional sumo. Chairman Hakkaku duly informed the relevant stable masters, who passed on the unwelcome news to their charges. Hakuho's coach, Miyagino, then went public in stating that both he and his student accepted the situation and the need for Yokozuna responsibilities to be fulfilled. We know, though, Hakuho privately disagrees, strongly. Until now, his justification of his Yokozuna quality has always been that when he does compete, he delivers real results. That's why the Yokozuna Council have put so much effort into trying to shoot that down this time. We're putting title wins aside in this discussion, said Council Chairman Hironori Yano, 79. The fact is, contrary to expectations, both the Yokozuna sat November out, and you cannot say they have carried out their Yokozuna responsibilities. We can't have this go on and on. Two Yokozuna, neither of whom appears. Think of the fans. From their point of view, it's both sad and unacceptable. Asked what the council actually wanted to see from Sumo's top two, Yano replied, We want them prepared to continue being leaders of Sumo, and to act accordingly. The changing of the Sumo guard is approaching, and we want them standing as formidable obstacles in the youngster's way, and to be their role models. Few could disagree with that part, but where Yano struggled was in trying to explain his council's inconsistency. Kiseno Sato, as you will remember, was absent even more than these two, yet he did not receive a warning. Well, consider this as an attempt to rouse them, Yano said of Hakuho and Kakuryu. As they both failed to turn up recently, we've gone a bit further here to confirm whether they fully understand the weight of their responsibility and the gravity of their situation. But when again pressed on discrepancies, Yano crumbled into an unconvincing wreck. Yes, the statistics for Kisena Sato were similar, he stammered, but at least you could see he was trying. A disappointed Kakuryu would obviously counter that it's difficult for the Yokozuna Council to monitor anybody's effort mid-pandemic, seeing as no outsiders can observe training sessions. And Hakuho will simply be seething, because the Sumo Association uploaded to its YouTube channel video evidence of his fine performance at the specially organized group practice in October, at which he trounced everybody. Asked what would happen in January, Yano said his council will obviously wait and see what the Yokozuna produced before deciding whether to recommend they retire. But he also reminded us of the council's limitations, many might say irrelevance, by adding, of course, we can't compel either of them to fight. The strong impression I get is that both Yokozuna will be fighting in January, and I look forward to it. But the stench of bad blood between those Yokozuna and the council is hardly likely to go away.